Greetings, my friends. Okay, you know that I did that video yesterday about um, I was I was on my bike and I was looking for that tunnel and it was kind of there's a lot of death in it and stuff, wasn't there? I did indeed have a near-death experience coming back from where as soon as I turned the camera off, <coughs> I did my piece to camera to you guys saying bye. I had a bad experience. I need to quickly mention that um, I, I, I've. I've been on bikes since I was three or four years old. You know, I'm approaching, fast approaching 50 years old. And I've been on bikes all my life. Um, and I'm pretty astute with them, if you will. My re reflexes are good and I've never had a bad accident or anything like that. But as I was riding along, um, it's an e-bike, of course, and I was giving it some. Everything just went sideways. So the bike just hit some wet chalk. Soul! Greet our soul, you beautiful beast, yes. Um, so the bike, I hit some wet chalk and it went sideways. Everything went sideways at the point where I was talking about Mungo who had died on his bike. It was exactly the same point. And unfortunately, like what I've just been talking about, the Warren took him, he fell off his bike and passed away, riding down the way we've just come. Mungo Shrine. We'd had this massive discussion about uh, how dangerous the Warren is, and um, you know, and, and the fact that Mungo died there, uh, and and all of the other things, and the fact that there's no phone coverage. So if you do get in trouble, then you're, you're in trouble. And I had a good old ponder about this, and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, all right, okay, I'm gonna bite the bullet. Finally, I I'm gonna get a helmet. I've always been dead against helmets, especially in my youth. You know, brought up in the 70s and 80s, we didn't really have them then. And then the 90s come along and they were like, you didn't have to wear a helmet on your head. And we were like, oh, I don't bloody think so, old chap. With my vision, I like there, you know, I can see cars there and people there, believe it or not. And anything which is constricting or restricting my head, I just don't like it. I don't feel comfortable in it. I like to have all of my emotions to be able to see all of the things. See, soul's gone away and I've gone all pale again. I'm not pale. Oh, is it white balance? I think it's a white balance because the van's there. Yeah, it's a white balance. I'll have to do something about that in post. Anyway, so, anyway, 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 so, I went out and I got myself a helmet. Now I was excited about this helmet because I wanted something that looked a bit kind of edgy and a bit World War II-y, even though I am approaching 50. And I thought, I couldn't, can't get an actual World War II helmet, that'd be a bit much. So I got this, and I thought it looked cool, it's Mongoose. Do you remember Mongoose from the 80s? I don't know if it's the same brand. And I have these stickers from Hummingbird.com. These guys, this charity I, I really, really believe in. Um, it's, it's, it's mental health, breaking the stigma with music. I'm a musician, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a musician. I thought, because it's black, it'll look amazing on there. How cool does that look? I was really excited about the helmet, until I put it on. Now, it's not quite, how, it's not quite how I envisioned it being. I just look like an unwelcome visitor on a teenager's face. As in, um, I look like a black haired a spot. You've got to bloody explain yourself these days, haven't you? And this bit here, and it kind of, I don't know, it's just, <sighs> so this is, you guys probably think, hey, it looks all right, Chris. But I just, <sighs> and even though I am fast approaching 50, I still got my bloody pride, man. I don't like it. You guys are probably like, it's cool, man, it's fine, dude, you know, but I don't like it. Anyway, anyway, so the point is, is that that was a waste of money, and I want to get a helmet which is better today. But I want something, I want one of those full face things. I think that, I know there'd be, I think I need a motorcycle helmet. I'm not too sure, do I need a motorcycle helmet? Um, let's go and do a wreck, let's go and have a little look around and a sniff around, see if there's anything good. But yeah, I've got to get one because that was a really, really scary experience yesterday. Oops. Everything that I'd said, it's like the universe was just going, dude, listen to me, dude you're gonna fall off your bike and get a helmet. So I'm gonna listen to the universe on this occasion and be safe. Let's go. Ah, now I've just gone to get my ticket. This machine is not in use. Please pay to park by... Uh, what? Oh man. No, I wanna put money in. Oh. It's all the same really. 
one's pretty cool. There's no full faced ones here. Those guys are active, are really friendly, super friendly dudes, um, but didn't quite have what I wanted in there, unfortunately. Hold on, I've got to concentrate on not dying on this road. So I've come to a motorbike shop. I'm hoping maybe they'll have something which can help me here. Um, it might be a bit of an overkill, but let's go and ask him anyway. Yeah, massive overkill. I thought it would be. I've fallen in love with at least six motorbikes in there. Now I might bite the bullet and get a blooming motorbike. No, don't do that. <laughs> uh, one more shop to try down here. And if there's nothing in this one, then it's going to have to be an Argos jobby. Um, Argos to you guys all around the world. It's kind of like, you know, transpose Americans, it's like your Walmart. It's got everything in there, but it's not an actual shop. You, it's computer. Let's go try this guy. I definitely know, but it's definitely 100% a full face one that I'm looking for. I think I've solved that particular problem. Right, where is it? I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. Aha! Here we go, let's see if this dude, Renham Cycle Centre, see if he does uh, helmets. <laughs> he was really helpful, that guy was a dude. Um, and I spoke to him about conversion kits as well. I like him a lot. I will definitely go back there and bring my custom back there. Um, but it turns out that my head is huge. I have a massive moon-shaped swart. Um, it's 61 across, and apparently that's a little bit too uh, big for any full face helmets that he's got. And it also explains why my helmet looks like a, well, a helmet a protruding helmet on my helmet uh, so <laughs> I'm going to have to order one in from somewhere or something I think um, we're going to try our Argos anyway though let's go try Argos ah, <laughs> massive swat I just had a quick pop into CEX just, <laughs> just to get some second hand DVDs okay I've got the village never seen it I've got the Godfather all three don't need the third one let's be honest but I've always wanted to own them. The Grudge, never seen it, always wanted to watch it. Ghostbusters, going to the cinema next week to watch it, so I'm getting my daughter in the mood by watching Ghostbusters and The Usual Suspects, which is just a fantastic film. Right, back onto the mission. All right. Okay. Uh, Helmet? Hell. Here we go. Oh, right, got that one. No. Ooh, hold on a second. Order on argos.co.uk, great. No. no. Ooh, that's posh. £99. Um, they're not going to have any, are they? Oh. There you go then. It has been confirmed that I am a massive headed idiot. My head is so big it should have its own moon orbiting it. I'm going to have to get one. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. I'm going to have to get one online. Thank you for watching my friends and I shall see you in the next video. <laughs>